Hi everyone, welcome to the New Earth community. My name is Andrea and I'm going to be doing a collective reading for you guys, see what's happening within this connection. I want to apologize um, where I sent Sophia the collective reading, but it was my Libra reading. Um, and I want to say when it comes to Mercury retrograde, you guys make sure everything is in task when it comes to technology. All right, we do in January 13th for the 18th, I believe. And also, if you are struggling with communication with your divine masculine, your person, they go ghost, you can um, get counseling with Mr. David. You can contact Sophia for more if you have questions and answers or if you'd like to do a counseling session with him. I highly suggest you reach out to him. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in the WhatsApp group, contact D. Um, it's a free uh, group that she has. Um, we all will help you in these groups. If you want the email one-on-one -on -one support group, you can contact myself. We have Facebook as well where everyone can join. All right, guys. So, again, my apologies. Uh, just make sure when you are doing things uh, with technology online, saving, storing, communication with your person, and how you're understanding things, definitely uh, you want to... Uh, take a double take all right <clears throat> so let's jump in if you would like to follow me for more information and about these programs and my services and my videos you can check me on my channel for divine sis dream walker that is my name all right the information is in the description box down below and again i want to apologize to sophia um, thank you for allowing me to use your platform Okay, so let's see, guys. Let's jump in, see what's going on. All right, we have King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. We have the Sun card, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Moon. All right. For many of you, you know that you have this connection with your person and you feel the love with your person, but you just are a bit confused, uh, a bit worried about what's going on at this time with your person. Uh, you may be still trying to figure out how you can communicate with them, you know, where things are going. And I feel like for you it's 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 trying to see a new perspective you're trying to see a new perspective but it's it's a bit overwhelming um you know it's like you do have these trust issues because you've been avoiding your person avoiding the situation because you don't really have that clarity of what what you're confused about all right we have the moon and the sun here this is about the polarities of your internal energies. Also, you know, the dark and the light perspective where negatively you, you still have these negative thoughts and your uh, negative emotions, uh, how you feel about your person, how you think about them. And this new beginning you do feel where it's coming, with, where it's coming in, uh, a new beginning. But here's the thing, right? Your person is showing up as the king of pentacles. Okay, I feel like they may be doing things with work at this time that are not really bothered about, um, you know, guesstimating what their love is for you. Um, they are a bit confused because you, some of you, many of you are maybe rejecting your person. You don't trust your person because you broke up with them, right? So your person is in this uh, state of they're not they're feeling the passion and these emotions so they're a bit confused feeling challenged within themselves because they don't know how you will um embrace them how you will you know um uh, move things forward with them they don't know if they should offer this cup of love right they don't know at this time they don't know they don't know how to communicate their feelings to you and what they want to give you right some of you are just not going for it with your masculine okay and this is why you're confused because of the deception because of the trust issues 
because you still have that third party energy around you which your person does have the third party but um i feel it's work or it has to do something with it is something to do with their children all right if your person is connected to a person right it doesn't matter who this person is right and they share children with them i mean you shouldn't be bothered or worried about what their situation is you should be more concerned with how you feel and where you want to move forward so you need that clarity you need to start facing the situation where things are going moving forward in your life as well as uh, with your your person you know you have to be able to speak up and also be in that masculine energy because all you're doing here is in your thoughts and confused that's the confusion of the illusion with third party that you're not working on yourself simple you're not going within you're not working on yourself you have the sun and the moon here this is about you being enlightened to the twin flame journey understanding how you feel because the moon deals with your emotions this is about your intuition so intuitively you know that you have these feelings and you know that it's a new beginning but you just don't know how to go about it this is why we have the community to help you guys where you are lying to yourselves and being confused about this twin flame journey some of you are wanting to start over with your person some of you've come away from your person but those of you who's coming away from your person you are getting a pull back towards them and i do feel like that's the confusion where you left them because you were lying to yourself right that they didn't love you these are lies you tell yourself they don't love you they hurt you um, you start blaming them and that's that resentment you start to create with a negative thought because you're lying to yourself already and then in your heart space you're just carrying this grief it's anger and you don't get clarity out of just thinking your way of how you perceive your person's third party uh, about what they what they what they're going through you are here to refocus on yourself you're here to understand that this self-sabotaging energy of yours is an energy that's coming from a lot of deception of past relationships and people in your life that is not helping you be who you truly are which they don't have to help you right but you have been around these people from your upbringing which have lied to you and what it is that you want in your life right they wasn't very supportive so there's some lies right there right and that 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 energy is negative it's negative right you don't feel the love with these people you feel like they do lie to you but you're here to learn how to forgive yourself first so you can understand what these people has done to you or what's happened in your life so you could then release that then forgive them because you do understand it now you can't keep blaming them you can't keep blaming your person it's the lies we do tell ourselves, which keep us in this old way of thinking that don't allow us to trust ourselves as well as those who really want to love us or those who really want to help us you're being enlightened about the confusion of where you've been lying to yourself and the pull to your person is extremely being heightened because you have this high connection this high commitment where it's connected to your purpose it's connected to your person it's connected to your purpose right but it's for you guys to stop lying to yourself your person is the king of pentacles because they work a lot but that doesn't mean that they don't feel the love for you they're just in a third party situation where it's a nightmare with you know that person over there with their children where they have to work a lot and they have to provide for their children but they're being emotionally manipulated by these others or their baby mother where you know they have to give money all the time to that person but that's their lesson to see that they are not happy there right but they want to be happy with you so the confusion for them is they want to offer you this love right 
this new beginning, this new emotional beginning in your connection. A lot of you are thinking it's another person. Now, maybe, yes, because your person is taking long, they're still with third party. And, you know, it is heartbreaking to you guys and you feel that pain, right? But the intention is for you to come away and allow your person to learn on their own but whatever situation they are in so you can then learn how to be strong and how you deal with your own situations as well as your person's situation and that's you working on yourself releasing the anger the resentment these lies you're telling yourself where you try to avoid your person you break up with your person and you're feeling left out in the dark you're already feeling left out in the dark with your own third party and that's the confusion you intuitively know your person is not intentionally doing this to hurt you. It's a self-sabotaging energy you both put yourselves in where they stay in nightmare situation with third party and you lie to yourself about the love you feel with your person. You logicate it. Just like your person logicates. They think about it, right? But your person here is feeling you and it's them knowing that, yes, yeah, they do have trust issues, uh, I don't feel committal issues with your person, could be, but I do feel it's you with the commitment issues because it's part of your journey of why you feel confused in the first place about this whole illusion where the moon, the moon, you're the emotions, you're the intuitive um, <clears throat> feminine, right? It's about you embracing your masculine energy. You guys are getting it twisted about this twin flame journey. This is about your internal energies. You feel the love with your person, and that's what they want you to do. Feel it with them. Now, argue with them about the third party. Don't blame them about the third party. I, I understand you guys get frustrated, and this is also pertaining to Mercury retrograde. But when you get frustrated, that's why you have the programs. That's why we have the support groups, because when you connect with another twin flame, you know, or where you resonate with this channel, with us here in mission, with us on in this community, it allows you to raise your vibration because you know what you feel. You don't have to be in denial about it. You don't have to just think that you're you're crazy or you're trying to, you know, trying to make things make make things make sense. In your life, where things is in balance, you want to make sense about coming away from the people that's not serving you. That's where you want to make sense thing make things make sense about right that's what you want to make sense about with your person it's, it's still where you're trying to make sense of where things are going moving forward and that's why we're here to help you guys some of you are still logicating i do feel like some of you are a bit um you know overwhelmed that you have come away from your person it's playing on your conscious that's why things are very intense with you and your person because this is about your guilty conscious of things and people and situations that was not serving you, that was blocking you and only hindering you from your own truth. Your own truth, being able to speak up, letting people know the things that you will not accept and not allow and that means the people around you but also being self-expressive to not do it with ill intentions but to then share your ideas of where you are understanding why they do the things they do you know you then forgive them yes but at the same time let them know right is right and wrong is wrong your left and right brain in your brain right your hemisphere you have to think correctly about things and this is something that us in mission we're learning to do as well right it's not you guys alone and it's very interesting that, you know, we don't see this deception of lying to ourselves. We don't see it. That's the thing. But inside, we do feel it. We do feel it. And that's the pain. That's the anger, the resentment of what we have traumatically experienced with other people continuously lying to us, you know, shutting us out. We being silent. We being silent where we know things are right and things are wrong. This is why we're here to help the planet, help the planet, right? To try and, and, and balance out uh, more of the, the negatives and the positives, right and wrong. It's no right and wrong, but in your awareness of what you perceive, you know, where you see people are being mistreated, you know, you see people are being talked down to, things like that. 
when you have an understanding of that, you can then teach others, you know, how they can deal with that, how they can learn to, you know, step up and speak for themselves. For those of you, many of you who want to learn how to self-advocate, you want to be self-encouraged, self-empowered. Yes, this is part of your journey for you to do it for yourself. You got to have faith in yourself. The master program helps you to understand that. It helps you get to the root of the issue, why you're always out in the dark, where you are confused about these people around you that have lied to you in your life, in your life, right? Which makes you be angry, you know, you lie to yourself that you don't love your person or where they lie to you. They mirror that to you. You want to know about the mirror that's in the master program. This deception is at an all-time high where you guys are breaking up with your person. But I feel like this is intentionally happening with the planets. If you are knowing or learning about the planets, yeah. In the Twin Flame Union program, uh, there's Mark Passio as well as David Icke. They talk about what's going on. Why we're here suffering in these traumatic experiences, you know, this is what you're here to do to experience the planet. And what you're here to do is to be enlightened about the truth, right? So you have some enlightened people that are aware of, you know, a, a lot of the mind control, the, the manipulation that's going on, where many of us are being enslaved to think that life is for us to be in this pain and fear. No, okay? That is other people's perception, their projections, where that has been placed upon you. You're here to release and understand what that is. It's time to let it go and be strong to step into your masculine energy, right? In the union program, those videos, I highly suggest you listen to it as, um, you know, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's on the platform, but you get all the information where Sophia is, you know, putting things together because many of people are mentally enslaved in their own mind, their own way of thinking, which they're lazy and don't want to do the work. This is about you doing the work. This is about you doing it for yourself. If you're not open to learn, then it's no possible way that these programs will help you or we can help you because you are just resisting this information. You're resisting the knowledge and wisdom to be enlightened about you, yourself. And that may be confusing within itself. Someone else is telling me about me, but you guys watch tarot and you're seeking outside of you for the answers. And we're telling you, you have the answers within you because you do. Because you do. It was hard for me to understand that in the beginning, but we have all the answers within. We must learn to trust ourselves. We are here to learn to step into our masculine energy, and that's what our person is showing us here. Okay? And it's looking like you guys are still logicating things. I want to clarify, right? These feelings of what you're confused about, because we have the moon here. This is about your intuition. It's about getting on your right, on the right path, right? The right hemisphere brain fear. It's like logically you're in your left uh, brain logicating things and how you feel with your person. That's why you're confused. Some balance is needed here, right? It is for you getting your masculine energy and go for what you want. Go for the things that you want in life, and that's what your person is showing you. So. Okay, it's, it's, it's about you getting on your path because someone here knows they feel that love. They are tired of logicating it. They want love. Why do they go to work to get away from whatever their third-party situation is? Why do they go to work? Because they have to pay bills and mortgages. They want to see that their children are secure. They do have, you know, the necessities and things that they need. What's happened with your person growing up? Maybe for them... That's something that, from their point of view, they're like, you know what, my children is not going to struggle. They're not going to be in nightmare situations. I'm going to, you know, set myself up where I'm going to work a lot, and I'm going to make sure they have everything. But that takes away from your person also doing what makes them um, happy, right? We do have these third-party situations, guys, and this is why we're here to help you to understand how to deal with these um, aspects of yourself, where you're trying to balance out your life, where you're trying to understand your relationship with your partner. You know, it, it is for you. It is for you to understand. And what I'm getting here is 
many of you want to move it forward so what is blocking you you are logicating this right you're avoiding doing the work this is about the inner work right you must learn the science of this connection the light in the dark right learn to embrace it we all have it in our subconscious there is many things that we um we we are filled with a lot of ideas we are filled with a lot of thoughts and we are just fearing to actually take action on it this is where we help you this is where we come in to help you to be enlightened about the journey and how you feel about things right so you could then think clearly so you can act upon it right you stop resisting so this is about yeah you need to know about the twin flame journey check out the playlist new information about the twin flame contract many of you may be um you know just tired of waiting and you know where you have left your person this is about now progression moving forward this is what the planets is helping you guys to do i do believe jupiter is um somewhere playing its part uh, many of you are thinking that you have to be lucky to be with this person. This is you needing to be lucky to find love, looking for love. No, just like how your person, they do logicate things. You're logicating things as well, but this is teaching you about yourself, what makes you really happy. So it is firstly for this person to understand what makes them happy is the love, the commitment that they do want, where they want to, um, you know, passionately invest into their own ideas and, you know, their own, their own, their own wants and needs. And they do have that love for you, for you, the twin flame, right? Many of you has left your person. And I'll tell you this, you're not even thinking about uh, relationships at this time. You're not even thinking about love. You're like, I just want to be out this nightmare situation. I really want to work. So you're moving into your ego of your masculine. And your person is showing you that. It's your ego. So if it's not progressing, many of you are still logicating this. You're not on a correct path. Uh, some of you, I do uh, believe that where you are in counseling is, is changing your perspective. So the polarities of the negative aspects, which things are coming out, you know, coming up to the surface and how you feel is allowing you to see that you have been in a dark place for a long time. Right, you have been confused about your own needs and wants, and so now you're trying to get on the right path. So you know where you will be with that. Um, I do highly suggest everyone that's watching book counseling. You will need counseling. You will need counseling. There's been some traumatic experiences that you've uh, gone through, dealt with, and you still can't get that out of your head. And where that stems from, you being seven, eight years old, nine years old, 10 you have these experiences because you're here to learn how to teach yourself to be true to yourself to be happy follow your bliss right you are here to learn how to follow your passions in life and understanding more of your purpose because you do have a purpose right <clears throat> learning about the sun moon rising Many of you are, you know, watching Tarot for that as well, watching your person. So if that's the case, the Twin Flame Union program, why don't you have that, right? If you do have that, yes, I encourage you to revisit it. Revisit it. It's very important, okay? As well as all of the programs because they direct you to each program and what to do, right? Many of you want to be free from your thoughts, these old beliefs of how you've been living your life and doing things as well. Uh, four swords, yeah. You're ready to heal. You're ready to heal. And that's why you're here, to heal this traumatic experience of a lot of things that's subconsciously in your mind. Yeah? So what you can do, gain a new perspective about your third-party situation, your person's third-party situation, right? Right? Learning how to come away from people and situations that's not serving you. Stop blocking yourself or letting the past hold you back, right? Stop keeping yourself confused. Uh, many of you are intelligent, right? You start to put off your emotions and 
go into this manipulation of uh, self-sabotaging yourselves, allowing other people to manipulate you and, and who you're listening to and telling you what to do about this journey and how you feel with your person. If it worked for them, then they will be with their person. They will be in a loving marriage. They will be fine, right? And then they would, you know, then give you that advice uh, and how that works. But many of you are seeking, why can't you master a loving relationship? It's because you need to learn how to master yourself first, what you want. And your person is showing you that here. Because you are a master teacher, master the esoteric teachings of tarot and alternative healing mission program. Many of you know that you should be in mission, but still procrastinating. Those of you who are in mission, I really hope that you are helping other people okay i really hope so because this is about the energy that you possess and you know understanding these negative aspects and how you are wanting to transmute that negative energy to something more positive it is connected to your mission with teaching others so you know we don't want to regurgitate uh information just because we are trying to look for an easy way out on this journey is no easy way out this is about you understanding how to do things differently. This is about you, um, you know, taking the steps because when it comes to mental, your mental, you need to be clear about things. All right. You need to be clear. Mercury, right? Mercury is all about communication. Again, I highly suggest you guys book Mr. David, right? Book him. He's put up a video. I put it on my community tab. Um, Sophia and everyone in mission, which, you know, they have booked him, um, you know, to ask questions and things like that. Um, nothing towards Mr. David because he's amazing. Um, I will be uh, looking to book him as well. Um, you know, I was just asking those questions with Sophia, you know. Um, definitely, it's insightful to get a masculine and feminine uh, you know, perspective. It, it, it's, it's very important we understand that and seeing things from not only our point of view or just our gender's point of view, okay? Many of you are feminine out there. Get it from the divine masculine's point of view, right? Because this is about the lack of resources, the lack mentality of you not being knowledgeable. It's poor knowledge, poor wisdom of what you are experiencing and how you can... Um, you know, elevate oneself, evolve from that experience. So it is for you to understand why you're really here energetically for you to align with what you feel and know to be real. And that's, excuse me, the passion you feel with your person. That's the emotions you feel with your person. You energetically move this forward because you're the nurturer, right? You're the nurturer and they feel that with you. You are a master teacher, but in order to be a master teacher, you have to be mastering oneself, correct? Correct. Telepathy transmissions are beginning between you and your person. This is connected to the third eye. So listen out for their words and dream or imagination state. Um, <clears throat> it's also like the cosmos is trying to connect with you and your intuition where things is being heightened with your emotions. It's like they're trying to connect with you. This is about trust. Trust, right? The trust program in the uh, Facebook group for free. Uh, many of you, if you are in the Facebook group, are you working on yourself? You have these programs, utilize them, right? The WhatsApp group is placed in there for free as well. This is your person showing you about your third eye, what you envision, your insight, inner knowing, right? It's nothing externally. They're showing um, up in your third eye. So many of you on a different level where you're working on yourself, you feel it in your heart space. You feel them in your heart space. You know, whether you're with them or not, you feel them. And that's what this is about. That's what the journey is about, what you feel. Trust is your person, you know. Trust that this is your person. This is stemming from your childhood. You know, things that you are not getting. You're not getting what you want with your person. You see that they work all day. Uh, you know, it's just been not really knowing what you want. And it's, it's, it's that lack of self-worth because you don't trust, right? You got to build up your confidence. That's what your person is showing you here as well as them, right? Your self-worth issues, you, you have a struggle with that. Um, understand more of working on your confidence, the sex mastery program, right? Understand where you are being blocked. 
you want to understand more about sexual abuse you know if you've been in a domestic volatile upbringing the sexual abuse uh program right the sex mastery program excuse me it will enlighten you more to understanding you know these traumas and why you may argue with your person why you may uh, doubt that this is your person where you guys fall in and out of this connection and trying to you know go around the houses how men tick uh again mr d uh <laughs> right definitely check out that video guys you know it, this journey is, is for you to be enlightened about how you want to um embrace this new beginning for yourselves and with your person i need to love me first and then i can love you yeah it's like they want to love you but they know that they need to um you know they they know they messed up you know it's like logicating things away so it, it's been a nightmare for them not only you not only you they have feelings too you guys got to stop being casual with them that's the thing you're being casual if you're not in your person's reality at all that's because you broke up with them right and they're with someone else okay you can restart communication I highly suggest you start with the um, listen to the third party and also invest into the union program, right? Those two can help you where you may be. Um, you know, many of you, if you are struggling with your upbringing, I do suggest the master program and the sex mastery program because many of you don't know how to flirt or communicate with your person. You don't know how to, you know, rekindle that romance. And the way you do it, you see it on TV, the, the, the tell lies to your vision, the programming, which you're already programmed to sit and watch things and not take action. So I, I do recommend that you understand that those programs will help you um, you want to know about the journey, the union program, but counseling will be needed overall here. I need to love me first, then I can love you. Yeah. So at the moment, it's like you do have these commitment issues and trust issues because you've been avoiding your person. You broke up with them. You want to love yourself. You want to, right? And you can. You can. Many of you may say, well, what is that? Well, follow your bliss. What makes you happy? Right? And if that's your person, okay, then so be it. So be it. Start there. That's the start, right? It'll get you in that momentum of, okay, well, you know, maybe now I need to um, get out of my own head and start doing what I know feel to be right. Yeah, you know you feel it. You know you feel the love with your person. They're not intentionally wanting to harm you, um, you know, wanting to hurt you and bring pain in your life. They don't want to do that. And you don't want to do that with them. So stop beating yourself up. I fear you will reject me. So, um, yeah, the rejection issues of you guys and, you know, going through the abandonment, the neglect, the sexual abuse, all of that. You have been emotionally manipulated and thinking that your person is doing that to you, right? They're not doing that. I'm getting very much so the mind, the mental. Take care of your mind. You never know what state of mind people are in. Take care of your mind. I feel this huge pull to you, and it scares me. Yeah, it scares them because it's what? Love. It is love. They feel that love with you, right? They tried to logicate it away. It's been a nightmare. Third party over there they're dealing with, you know, going through rough times. It's like they feel that with you. It doesn't scare them. Scare them like, oh, I'm going to stay away from her. It scares them because it's their heart opening up understanding forgiving themselves forgiving you know where people are manipulating them forgiveness this is about forgiveness you must learn to understand to then forgive you want to know what you're forgiving the master program you want to learn about this journey the twin flame union program you want to understand more about building your confidence and you know what your person is reflecting to you where you are trying to rekindle things, the sex mastery program, understand this abuse, right? Emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. Understand it all where traumatically have put you in a shock, a frame of mind to not be confident to go for what you desire or what you want. You have the ability to change things now. Stop fearing it, right? You have nothing to fear here on this planet. You make these choices 
And if you're not making the right choices, then that's you resisting and you fear making the wrong choices. But at some point you will fail. But it's all about how you bounce back and how you get on your feet and you do it again. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, take what resonates. Uh, follow me on my channel, Divine Sistering Walker, if you would like to purchase any of the programs, start counseling with myself, as well as um, booking me for my services. Okay, guys. Um, also, check out Mr. D and everyone here on this platform. Uh, you know, yeah, subscribe to everyone. Again, my apologies. My name is Andrea, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.